In this video, we'll be mounting an old LCD TV as flush to the wall as possible with a DIY wall mounted bracket that we made ourselves out of a piece of DIN rail. Now the reason we want to mount it as flush as possible is because the older LCD flat screen TVs were actually quite chunky. They were quite thick. So the flusher you can mount it to the wall, the more it looks like a picture frame, like flat screen TVs were meant to be mounted on the wall, in my personal opinion. Um, and even with modern flat screen TVs that are quite thin, the, the, the flatter they are on the wall, the better I think they present themselves. As you can see, the TV is pretty much touching the wall. So the bracket basically makes the TV mount the same way a picture frame mounts. You just hook it onto two screws that are screwed into the wall. This is a piece of DIN rail. It's something you'll find at an electrical supplier. It's normally sold, sold in um, meter lengths and it's normally quite cheap it's about two or three pounds a meter and it's a cheap um, thing to make brackets out of it's slotted a bit like Meccano so you could put nuts and bolts through it but uh, where you would normally use it to mount uh, circuit breakers and electrical timers and various other electrical components in a um, in a in a box uh, where you, you a control box for something that's an example where you might use it I like to use it to make uh, my TV bracket. I simply slot out one of these holes. I um, make the bottom of it a little bit bigger, either using a, a file, where you uh, make the bottom of the hole slightly bigger. Um, but what I found is easier is if you use one of these one of these cone cutters in a drill, which is like a, a cone shaped drill. So you can drill until you reach the desired size hole. You just go deep and then you stop. And what this allows you to do is make one of those um, uh, you get these picture frame hanging um, bracket plates. You sort of make the same style of um, mounting bracket. And it allows you then to have a screw pass through through the big hole and then lock in place by the weight of the item hanging on it. And Dinrel is fairly strong, so you can hang quite a lot off of it. So it's a, it's a novel use. Um, instead of using it for circuit breakers, you can now hang your TV off of it. And it it allows the TV to hang very close to the wall, which is what I like. Now you take your piece of DIN rail and um, you need to space it up ever so slightly. I use nuts in the past or um, I used to have these plastic bushes as well from something else that worked really well. And what you can do is you can space it just enough for the DIN rail to be away from the TV to stop it bending in as you're tightening it up with the screws. Or, um, if you want the TV to hang forward at slightly at an angle, so it's better for viewing if the TV is really high up, then you can space one side up a bit more than the other side. And you can stack either a few nuts on top of each other, like so. Um, or use one of these plastic bushes, or, or anything really. A bit of um, copper tube cut down. But the, the nuts work well, they're like... Um, big fat washers that you could just uh, set it to the spacing you want and then you just uh, simply line it up with the holes at the back of the TV put your screws in preferably with washers like so and tighten them down Now you'll have two mounting holes. Now this is quite an old TV, so it has a bit more weight to it. But Dinrel is fairly strong. And um, you can even use smaller screws than these, but obviously for a larger TV, I would recommend quite heavy duty screws. And they can easily handle this weight. It's really not a problem. Even the old plasmas can hang off of um, just two screws. And now, for the moment of truth, 
So simply take the TV, line it up with the screws, find the hole, it goes through the big hole, and it locks down, and it's nice and secure. So as long as the TV is not lifted up to the same height that it unhooks itself, it won't come down. Worst case scenario, one side, if you bump it, one side will come down and it'll just swing to its side. It's never happened to me. I've hung maybe about five or six TVs like this before and none of them ever, ever has fallen down. And there you have it. For just under three pounds, you get to hang an old flat screen LCD TV on the wall. I think it looks quite smart. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below.